Hello, Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Abdul Rahman Mamad Sokri, my metric number is DE180017. Okay, today for my part, I will present about the question. Okay, for the first one, question is, what is the difference between radial circuit and radial circuit in electrical wiring installation? Okay, first one, I will explain about the radial circuit. Okay, radial circuit is a single length of wire connects each point in a radial circuit. It's transmitting power from one to the next. It begins from the main fuse box and ends at the last device connected to it. Individual socket or chains of many socket may be connected by intermediate junction box. But there is never a loop wiring arrangement in a radio circuit. Okay, that is the meaning for radio circuit. Okay, now for ring circuit. The difference between ring circuit and radio circuit is for circuit, wiring was a more efficient and cost effective method that could safely accommodate more socket when compared to radio wiring. The cheaper cost were due to the fact that smaller diameter wires could be employed. For each connected socket, the ring circuit provides two independent wires for line neutral and earth. Okay, that's for question one. Now we explain about the purpose of neutral cable in electrical wiring installation for question two. Okay, the circuit is written to the original power source via the neutral line. The neutral wire in particular connects the circuit to a ground or bus bar which is normally attached at the electrical panel. This allows current to circulate through your electrical system. By allowing electricity to be used to its greatest potential, this, this also will prevent defective or excessive current from accumulating in outlet. Okay, that's all for my part. Thank you. Good morning, doctor. My name is Chong Ming Li, AE190105. Today, I'll present discussion and conclusion. So, I will present discussion first. In this lab, we are able to familiarize and determine single-phase electrical wiring installations for power circuit in residential building and draw the wiring diagram for the circuit. To carry out this lab, we need to draw the house plan and draw the socket outlet point according to the location on an A4 paper. Then label all the socket outlet point on the house plan. We need to turn off all socket outlet at the house and all MCB on the distribution board. After that, we test the relation between all the socket in our house with the MCB by attaching socket tester on a socket outlet and turn on one MCB 20 or 32A. Turn on the switch and observe the functionality of the socket outlet. The results are recorded on table 1, 2 and 3. From our result, we can determine whether the power circuit of our house is ring or radial circuit. We learn how to draw the floor plan and mark the socket location that function with the MCB in the floor plan. Next is conclusion. In conclusion, we can understand wiring regulations. In UK, wiring regulations are a national standard for electrical wiring. This standard shows the requirement for installation of fixed cabling within a building. It is important to make sure that the adherence of safety and proper practice. It also covers the trial of wiring. We also gain skills to determine the type of power circuit and know the proper usage of related tools according to the desired application. Besides, we know the skills to draw the house plan and wiring diagram of the circuit. It is important to draw the diagram because circuit elements can be emphasized and we can know their functions relate to each other. Furthermore, we gain knowledge on electrical wiring accessories and symbol. These symbols are vital when doing electrical drawing and electrical circuit. In future, we can draw an electrical plan to prevent hazardous problems and ensure that our problem, our system can run safely and efficiently. So that's all from me. Thank you, Doctor.